As the world scrambles in the aftermath of the Hania assassination, more than 100 hostages remain in Hamas captivity, and time is running out to bring them home. Joining us now to discuss is Daniel Lifshitz, the grandson of Israeli hostage Oded Lifshitz and former Israeli hostage in Gaza, Yocheved Lifshitz. Daniel, I want to thank you so much for joining us today. As you know, today marks 300 days in captivity for your Oded. What is being done to push forward in hostage negotiations, if anything, at this point? I think at this point we are uh, inside an unknown time. It's uh, very, very difficult to understand uh, what would be the uh, consequences of that. Um, personally, I think uh, assassination of uh, mass murder archi-terrorists like uh, Ismail Ania, who is responsible for October 7, is not something that uh, should change a uh, humanitarian uh, crisis of 115 hostages whom are there for 300 days and feel like every day is three. So it's like 900 days today for them and uh, for the Palestinians that uh, the Gazans should get their uh, permanent ceasefire after releasing all the 115 hostages. I'm sure that uh, a terrorist which is responsible of October 7 and which is not the decision maker doesn't need to bother and doesn't need to make the change. Absolutely. I wanted to ask you, how are the other families of hostages responding to this assassination? Is it viewed by any as a, a diplomatic setback, or there's no real change, at least as, that we know of now, to Hamas's approach to these negotiations? Look, for us, uh, for the families, uh, after 300 days, you understand that uh, the feeling is uh, horrible, no matter about uh, anything or another. It's just devastating. We are really desperate and uh, we see every day that uh, both sides agree for a deal and don't sign the deal. So also the Americans should say who are the ones who are refusing to the deal. And uh, when I'm speaking and seeing that uh, a country as the, the British Prime Minister is saying that uh, a ceasefire should uh, be without connecting it directly to the hostages, that is something that bothers us a lot. And if something like that would happen, that would be awful for our hostages. And we cannot accept that. So uh, what we need to do is make the pressure of uh, both sides. We don't need to put uh, any new sections from the Israeli side to uh, prevent a deal. That is very important. We have no time. We can't know what will happen to our hostages in that time. And after 300 days, we know that many of them cannot survive it. And if we'll pass more and more days, we will just have more and more dead hostages. That is something that we cannot accept anymore, not as a country, not as a nation, not as the, not as the Israeli and Jewish people who are uh, really, for them, the value of life is one of the most important things. So we should prove that the value of life is one of the most important things for us. Absolutely. We are out of time, but Odette, I want to, excuse me, uh, Daniel, I wanted to thank you for your time. And of course, uh, we are all here in the studio praying for the safe return of your Oded, uh, as well as the full recovery of Yocheved, who I know is doing well uh, from previous interviews. Thank you so much for your time, Daniel. Thank you.